Okay. White cadmium, uh, cadmium, um, titanium white, phthalo blue, and I'm using green shade. Again, if you have red shade, that's fine too. And cadmium yellow light uh, to change our, you know, the blue into more of a uh, green. So I'm just cleaning up the sky. This white, white and blue, that's it. Very simple. Just add a bit of more blue, more white, where the horizon line is. I'm having to put a bit of more water in here. Let's see if I can add a bit of clouds. So I'm just going to take white, mix it with a bit of blue, and come over here and just kind of simple, very soft. If we don't like it, I can always remove it. If I don't like it, I have to try. If I don't try, I won't know if you know some clouds will look nice or not. some water. Or something like this, just a bit of white and blue is more than enough for clouds. Just gives some movement in the sky instead of having just only only blue. All right. I think we're good. Not a lot of work to do here. Um, just cleaning up. Now let's take a smaller brush, smaller than the one I was using for the sky. And blue again, white, darker blue now. I'm all, I am still putting white in my blue, but it's not uh, oh, actually darker. Let's do that darker. Yeah.
Let's add some white. Actually more. It's drawing darker, so I keep having to add a bit more white in my blue slowly. All right, I'm adding a bit of movement in, in the water right now. Just by using white, <clears throat> adding white to my blue. Let's make sure that my brush is not too dry. Again, I don't want the C to be too, um, too, too, too busy, especially behind the figure, because that's where the, all of the work is going to be in that cloth, all of the colors, skin tone, all of that is going to be there. So um, I'd, I'd like it to be very soft, kind of not overwhelming and taking over um some of the focal point from a from the fo focal point but at the same time you don't want it to be too flat You know, I think it'll be nice if we add a bit of cerulean blue in there too, not only um, thalo blue. Maybe.
Wow, it dries so dark. At first, when yeah. I put the color, it looks, yeah, it looks yeah, very much. fine when I put the color. And then it, you, you know, it dries really dark. thing is when you're painting you have to think about what's the whole picture not only the part you're painting you have to think about what's going to happen to the colors in the figure what's going to happen to this and how to 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 the the skin tone how is it going to look with all of those movements or all of that texture or all of the colors that we're putting so it, 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 the whole thing has to be coordinated and it looks looking really good. Um, we'll change not, it again. Change it? Yes, if we are not happy with the colors of the water. Yeah, yeah. but you know, when you're painting, you, you, f f before you, or while you're painting, you, try to think ahead how what you're doing is going to look with the rest of the painting okay so that's that's not bad that's good um that looks good looks very good okay and then uh, i'm going to pause for a minute and then we'll continue okay so this color right here is a uh, thelo blue mixed with cadmium yellow light and lots of white in here. So I mixed these two colors right there. And then I added a lot of white. And then I can, I can tip the color more to the blue or to the green, depending on how much blue and yellow I'm putting in there. So I, I'm just going to, I'm trying to do, to get into this part here where it go, it becomes more wavy, more, um, more movement in here. Right there, before I start adding the white foam. That needs, I think it's better if I use quite a bit of, you know, not, not too dry. My brush shouldn't be too dry. It should kind of move from <clears throat> blue to green uh, slowly and it shouldn't be um, a strong cut. That's good. So because this blue is wet and I'm I wet I put some blue in here right now and I'm using the seafoam green in there. I'm mixing them. I'm able to have a really nice soft transition between blue and green. I changed my brush to um, a round brush. I think it's better for to control the movement of the 
paint or the control of the paint. Okay, so this is this side. So this light color that you see here is ultramarine violet with white. And I'm just, you know, putting a, a layer here. I didn't clean my brush. I still have some green on it. I'm just going to go in and just add a bit of kind of whitish purplish color. So before I start working on this side, I just need, I would like to finish the left side. Okay, let's finish the left side. Left side is slightly larger area than the right side. So I'm gonna use a wider brush and I'm going to do the same just take this color here this is awesome it's just you mix this, these two colors together blue and yellow and then you add white and you're good um, doesn't matter how what what you're getting maybe slightly darker or bluish here. And then it becomes, it turns into green. Okay, now I'm just going to switch to um, ultramarine violet and white, and my brush is still still has some yellow or green on it, or bluish green. I'm dipping the tip of my brush in a bit of water from time to time to keep my paint smooth. And I'm doing a kind of a curve, kind of a curvy um, 
movement with my brush. Not everywhere, but in front here to create a shape of a very soft rolling. Oh, yes. Wave. You said you used blue on the left side along with your with your purple. Yeah, my 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 brush had blue on it, the, the blue green, and I just picked up the purple I have here, purple and white. So I didn't clean my brush from the the blue I have. You know what I mean? Like I didn't I didn't wipe my brush or clean it. I kept the blue on it, and I just picked up the purple. That's what I did. I just have to make sure that I don't have a straight line um, with the waves. Um, I'm trying to make one part bigger, narrower, smaller, cut it, and then do another one here. So we don't end up with the same strong line all over um continuing you know like continues to start from here and it continues and it's one line um water is more of a kind of irregular it's not when you when you watch when you're sitting there and you're watching water flowing uh, it's really interesting or the waves Jeez. Okay. Well, I'm going to be putting white eventually. So I'm just going to be working on the foamy side, foam in here. The, the strokes are uh, more lines. More. Mm. The strokes. The, yes, the of the wave, of the waves mm -hmm. which, which uh, these ones here the, uh, yes 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 the mm -hmm. strokes is down or across yeah it's 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 a it's a curve like this it's a curve yeah and it's oh a... okay 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 now yeah yeah okay yeah i thought it was straight lines but it's curved yeah it's a curve you know i'm curving my it's brush yeah, you'll see it more when I start putting white. When I highlight a bit with white, you'll see it more. Okay, so that's why, you see, that's why I don't use white right away. Because what I'm doing right now, if if this has been, has been done with white only, it would have been really yeah. strong. So that's why I use ultramarine violet or purple, soft, soft purple in here with my white, yes. with white. Then it gives me, yes. I have room to, to um, you know, first of all, I'm building a soft base for all of that white that's going to come, all of the foam. Yes. Um, if I find that I, it's, it, it, you know, I put the color and it's too much. Actually, it says too much right now. Um, I can always go back, get some blue or green, greenish, and just soften this.
And if your color is not um, heavy, if it has a bit more water, what happened is like it's like a glaze. So when it dries, it dries soft because it, it dries. It's 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 a transparent color. So when it dries, it dries kind of darker, and you can see the color underneath. So um, it's it's better for something like this than having a harsh, thick, opaque, uh, strong uh, paint in there, color in there. So kind of try to make it more like a kind of a glaze, not too thick. It's much, much nicer and, and the colors will flow um, better. See how this was, this started really strong. Like it, when I put it the first time, okay, the first couple of uh, um, brush strokes take, look, see? Now it's gonna dry darker. You're not gonna see this, but the flow is nice. There's no harsh jump from one color to another. It's like using, it's like um, watercolor. Now I'm gonna increase the amount of white and dip the tip, tip of my brush, not the whole brush. And then just come here and go like this. Are you using more of the uh, purple or are you using the greeny purple? No, it's it's more of the purple and white. And there's a touch of green in there just because I didn't clean my brush. I didn't wipe my brush. My brush has a bit more of the, a, a, a bit of the uh, uh, green in there. But it is purple. It is purple. Now, I'm going to take a bit of white, put it in here, make sure that it's mixed with my paint. Okay, that's good. A bit more. Make sure it's mixed. It's not uh, well mixed with the purple, but that's a lot more white. And I can come here now and do a bit of this kind of. Maybe I should just put a bit of water in here. have to make sure I don't get exact line uh, going all the way in uh, from one part to another. So right now um, I'm doing, I'm have, I have white. I'm just highlighting a bit. Okay, shouldn't do too much. I'm going to take some of the green I have here. Mix it with a bit of this.
I'm just trying to highlight a bit the top of that little tiny wave that's turning <clears throat> turning down so it doesn't look like dark blue and then white. Um, just trying to tiny bit highlight. Okay. <clears throat> Let's change brush round, take white, put it in this purple, quite a bit of white now. My paint is not dry. It's really kind of easy to, it flows easily on my brush. Some of these areas are heavy, the blue, the white, some is kind of smaller. And white and usually here we'll have a bit more kind of splashing this would take a bit of time this part. I'm making sure my my paint is wet. It it really flows really nice, kind of a, um, like a, a glaze. Sometimes what I do is I, sometimes I press hard on the brush and sometimes I don't. And then I lift it and keep going. So I press and then lift.
Good. I think we're good. A bit of white. And this is only white layer? Yes. Right now, I'm just using white. Only white. Thank you for yes. reminding me. Yes. I, I forgot to mention. That's OK. I'm highlighting a bit some of parts of the little kind of foamy foam in here because it, it it's dry now. So I can go back and highlight some parts. Not everywhere, but kind of here and there just to just to put more to show movement actually. Show the movement more. There we go. Right, so this is Naples yellow, titanium white, ultramarine violet. We have that from before. And um, 
I'm putting here, I put yellow ochre, a bit of yellow ochre. So I'm mixing, I'll mix it again. Let's change this into a clean one. I'm taking ultramarine violet, mixing it with my Naples yellow. That tones down the Naples yellow. Makes it more like um, a soft, soft yellow. And I'm adding white. And this is a bit of yellow ochre in here. That's really a nice yellow. For the sea, uh, for the sand. Sorry, sand. All right, let's do that. Take a bit of yellow ochre. So my sand is not all the same everywhere, the same color. I'm, I'm just dragging my brush around because I want the sand to look, um, don't look, I don't want it to look smooth. You know, sand shouldn't look smooth. It should have um, higher Part, part that parts that are high, low, um, shadows, sun. But at the same time, I don't want to work on it too much. This is enough. That's good. Put the sand in a bit into inside here in the water as well. So again, the water doesn't look like it's disconnected completely. So that's let's take in some of the sand in. That will soften the uh, connection between the water and the sand.
This is just white. I'm just adding a bit of white. You know, acrylic dries darker always, and it dries kind of sometimes harsh. So I, I like to go back and soften some areas. And if it needs to be adjusted, anything that needs to be adjusted, I like to go back after it's dry and go over and make sure that it's uh, cleaned, it's cleaned up. <clears throat> It's amazing how um, the colors with acrylics change once they dry. Um, you think that you're putting a, a soft color of purple and with white, and then you look at it when it's dry and it's dark. It's really dark. So especially with water, you know, it's usually water is very kind of transparent and soft and but with acrylics you have to constantly go back and make sure that you're putting the right you know once it's dry adjusting the the color and the brush stroke and highlights
I'm just smoothing some and highlighting some of the par parts of the foam. You know, again, when they dry darker, some of those uh, parts should be clean, like should be a, it will look nicer if it is a, you know, clean white. Okay, all right. I'm keeping, I'm trying to leave on purpose some of a bit of, um, here, I'll show you. I'm going to take a, a little bit of purple mixed with white with a small brush. Just come here and then add a bit of at the bottom here, but just that will push that pushes the um it it's it's the shadow of the foam on the sand what color did you use to do that just 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 ultramarine violet and a bit of white you could mix ultramarine violet with a bit of um uh, here with a bit of um uh, uh yellow ochre and that will give you a a, a stronger but i, I don't know if you need to maybe in in like certain areas you could do that but just ultramarine violet and and white will be fine so yeah it's it just kind of this this shadow of the the foam on the water will give it thickness But not everywhere. Just kind of make sure that you don't put it everywhere, because then um, it, it's a bit too much. It becomes a bit too much.
Right, so this is how it's looking right now. Can you take a picture and send to us yeah, to see? I will. Yeah, I will. I will. Have a, a better look for the sure. way. Yes. yes. Thank, thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a. Okay. Uh,